Hello everyone and welcome to Inno Energy's intellectual property channel. We are Inno Energy's intellectual property team and a question we often get asked by our startups is why should I apply for intellectual property protection? So today we will discuss the value intellectual property could bring to you and we will discuss why applying for intellectual property protection is important. So why is intellectual property so important? Um, well, first of all, when an intellectual property strategy is implemented correctly, it can bring with a lot of added value for your company. So the reason that intellectual property is so important is mostly because it adds value to the intangible value of the company. And with the intangible value of your company, we refer to the value that we cannot directly see with our eyes, but we can see it on the balance sheet of a company later on. So intellectual property makes the value of a product way more than just the raw materials. And nowadays, the intangible assets of a company can make up over half of the company's value. So tradable patents, strong brand names, relationships built, secret know-how, these are all forms of intellectual property that add value to your company in the form of intangible assets and therefore increase your company's position on the market. And I will elaborate on this with, uh, in, in the next slide with an example. So the company value of Nike was estimated to be $91 billion in 2017 by Forbes. And 25% of this value is held by their tangible assets. And tangible assets are the things that we can see, like their storage units full of products, the machines they have, or their office buildings. And the 36% refers to its direct revenues from sales and the other 5% to other incomes. Uh, but most importantly, we can see in this figure is um, we can see in this figure that 34% of Nike's company value is due to their intangible assets or their intellectual property. So this value is, for example, the results of Nike's uh, many patents. Nike, for example, has a patent on its Nike Air shoe. Um, so the production process and the schematics of the shoe are protected by a patent. And this gives Nike access to uh, a limited sort of production of this particular shoe, and they can also license or sell the patent. So to repeat, intellectual property is important as it increases the company's value to their intangible assets. And these intangible assets are not physical in nature like patents and trademarks. But um, of course, the intangible assets of a startup cannot be compared to the intangible assets of multinationals such as Nike. Um, but intangible assets or intellectual property is still very important, especially when you don't have products on the market yet, because in this case, your intangible assets uh, are very important because the value of your company will lie in your know-how and your established relationships, mostly. Um, so, for example, when discussing the value of trademarks, uh, the registration of brands is ex extremely important to generate value by clearly distinguishing yourself from similar companies on the market. Uh, even in an early stage, a brand can enable you to better communicate with the market and your customers uh, and thereby efficiently attract their attention. And with a brand or a trademark, you can, for example, attract customers by associating your brand with more sustainable activities and thereby you distinguish yourself from others uh, that are maybe less sustainable and thereby attract a whole new branch of customers. So a patent is also an entangable asset that can add a lot of value to your company. First of all, a patent clearly captures your company's know-how and the creative inventions of your employees. So for startups, this is one of this sort of uh, one-of-a-kind knowledge that you have, which the startup created and which um, the, the, knowledge, the, um, the knowledge is usually the most important assets of the startup and it should therefore be protected. 
And furthermore, a patent provides you with the exclusive right, meaning that you are the only one allowed to use or exploit the invention for 20 years from the date of filing. And through this exclusive right, you will be able to prevent others from commercially exploiting your patented invention, thereby also sort of reducing competition in the market and establishing a stronger market position for yourself. Uh, and due to this stronger market position, may, you may also be able to ask for a higher price. Um, but the patent can also be used to create more direct revenue, for example, through licensing the patent. And a license is often uh, given or preferred in situations in which an inventor does not want to produce or manufacture the product he patented or she patented him or herself. So through a license, the inventor could benefit from the already established production capacities of the licensee. And the licensee will in return give you royalties, which is a form of payment. Um, and with a patent, you can also acquire the rights to use uh, patents of another enterprise as you have increased bargaining power. So you can get a cross-licensing contract. And in such a contract, two or more enterprises can use each other's inventions. And at last but not least, patents can increase your bankability as it increases the chances for funding due to higher loan security for investors. This is especially true for startups as they do not have much financial security yet. So patents can help you with attracting investors as a patent application often makes investors less skeptical about the future potential of your technology. And furthermore, investors may also perceive your patent portfolio as a demonstration of the high level of expertise and technological capacity within your company, which may provide useful for raising funds. So as you can see, intellectual property is of vital importance for your company, vital importance for your company's value. And if you have any question or if you would like to know more about intellectual property and how it could benefit you, you can always contact us. We'd be more than happy to further advise you. And we will also be posting more informational videos about intellectual property online soon. So please follow us uh, on Inno Energy's YouTube channel. You can contact us through frontname.lastname at innoenergy.com. Uh, or follow us on LinkedIn and hopefully you find this video to be informative and hopefully we'll see you soon on Inno Energy's intellectual property channel. Thank you very much.